Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to do my series review for the manga series Horimiya. But first, a little background of how I found it. Last August, I was going through a huge manga phase, which turned into an anime phase. And while on the anime, I was looking for some romances, and I found Horimiya. And that first season is the romantic arc between the two main characters. And I really enjoyed it, so I was like, okay, this is a manga, I'm gonna start reading it. Then watched the second season, and I was a little confused. Because in the first season, Miyamura starts off with having long hair, and then later he cuts it. And then the second season, that first episode, he has long hair again. And I was like, what's going on? Well, after reading the books, I realized that the second season of Horimiya is all the other like lighthearted moments from the series that weren't part of the romantic plot. And so that's why it kind of feels a little disjointed because it's they're not in order with the rest of the story. So that's where we go to the manga. I know I've said many, many times that this is about a young woman, Hori, who at school, she is put together, she's smart. She's known as one of the beautiful, popular girls. But her classmates don't realize that when she gets home, she strips her makeup off and looks more like a plain Jane she does the chores of her household. She helps, you know, take care of her brother because her mother works a lot. And she keeps a secret from even her best friend, Ishikawa. Miyamura, on the other hand, at school is very gloomy, is what they say, with his long hair and glasses. He doesn't talk a lot. But when he goes home, I would say his clothes are, like, not preppy, but they have more of a personality. He puts his hair, like, up in a ponytail and you can see that he his ears are pierced he has a lip, lip piercing he takes his glasses off and it looks like a completely different person so these two end up meeting because Miyamura helps Sota who is Hori's younger brother and Sota decides that he likes Miyamura and he wants Miyamura to hang out more and so Hori and Miyamura end up spending more time with one another and they find out pretty quickly that Miyamura recognized her, but she didn't recognize him. And then starts their lives of where they're different at school versus when they're with each other. And they're developing this friendship. And this friendship then is also kind of transferring to school. They're talking with each other more and people are noticing like, wait, how do you know him? But Hori is very jealous of her time with Miyamura. She doesn't want people to know that he's coming over because she doesn't want other people to get in the middle of their relationship. And so the real purpose of this manga isn't the romance. The romance is like a subplot, really. It's more about the relationships you make with your friends and family members and how those develop. And it's about, as you're growing up, trying to figure out who you are and being comfortable with who you are. It, this series is really about true friendships. And yeah, there are people who like each other and some get who they want and some don't. But I think it's very realistic to how high school pretty much works. The only criticism I really have about this is while we're getting to know the characters as their high school, there's no conversation about what's going to happen in the future. So example, we know that Hori is really smart, however, what are her plans? She never talks about them. We don't know if she wants to go to college or start in the workforce right away. It's never mentioned. Miyamura does mention joining his family in their family bakery, but out of all the friend group, Miyamura is the only one who I know what he's planning to do after high school. This series is also a lot of fun because it definitely takes your stereotypes from if you read manga a lot, especially like high school themed manga, you you know the stereotypes for all the characters and it takes it and twists it. I mean, you have Miyamura who 
looks, you know, rough and tough outside of school, looks gloomy in school, but really he's a cinnamon roll. He's like the biggest sweetheart, the let's all get along, we're all friends kind of personality. Then you have Hori who puts on the front of being very nice and helpful, but really she loves horror movies. She likes to mess with people. She has a quick temper and she has some interesting kinks. Th this is a PG, PG-13 kind of series. Nothing explicit's gonna happen. And then we go on to meet the rest of their friends. We have Remy, who is supposed to be the most beautiful girl in school, who talks about herself in third person. And the boy that she loves is class president, and he's a big nerd. And then as you find out more about their relationship, you find out that Remy's actually also really smart, and she's really into dead insects, which horrifies her boyfriend. He's terrified of going to her house. You get to know the male friendships in this manga series, so much more than the female ones. And I think that's okay. It's a different twist on the high school story that you don't typically get to see. And like Miyamura, I would say really is the main character. I mean, you have Hori, who's a char main character as well, but it, Miyamura is kind of like the focus. Everything seems to be more through his eyes and how he views the world. So ultimately this manga is just a fun time. It's lighthearted, but then it also allows you to reflect on life and reflect on the relationships you have in your life. Again, not just with friends, but also with parents and siblings. I know this is a series I definitely am going to want to own and reread, but I do understand that it's not going to be for everyone. This series is really just kind of sweet and fluffy and you're just along for the ride. If you have read this series, I would love to talk more about it with you. And I'd love to know who your favorite character of this series is. Thank you, and have a great day.